Hey guys, Dan here from the iPod Touch World and Worldwide Tech Reviews. I've got an app review for you guys today on Battleheart. Go! So this application is $3.99 Australian. Um, so how much that converts to in America and any other country. But $3.99 Australian. So this is the game right here. It um, loads straight into your save files. There's no other real menu system. It's just this. Uh, you can go into music here and turn it on and off, as you see, and uh, the sounds on and off. Um, but obviously, I'm just going to leave them both on because it immerses you more in the game. And I'll just load into my slot here. As you see, I have played for an hour and 24 minutes. So this is it right here. As you see, you have got Battle, Armory, Merchant, Academy, Tavern, and Keep. And then you've got the Home option here to go back to that screen that I was just on. So as you see, very fast loading. Loads very quickly into the game. So if I go into Armory, for example, you see it shows me my characters that I have in my party so far. And as you see down here, it shows me weapons, armor, and then the two attachments that I have for this character and then so on for the other ones. It shows me the attack and the defense here and then this section here is um, all the items that I've gained from battles. So as you see I've only got one because I keep selling them to make more money. Uh, if I go into the merchant, as you see I can sell this item which I don't need it so I will sell it get 20 more gold. As you see I've got 122 gold there and this is what the merchant has up for sale at the moment. As you see, you can click on it and it'll give you the description. You can click through and uh, see what they've got. And as you see, when you select something that specifically relates to a um, character, it will highlight that character. And the down arrow means that it will decrease its um, attack from the weapon it has at the moment, because I have an upgraded version of the um, Vined Heartwood Staff. Um, and then you have Academy right here, which is where you can level up your characters. So as you see, I'll click on this one. It says, lash out with a series of whirling attacks at all enemies around you. 30 second cooldown. And then I can select the other one, um, which as you see, it gives you the description for that one. But that's the one I'm going to keep at the moment. And it's the same system with all the other ones. It's quite a simple um, special effect, uh, special move selection kind of screen. If that made sense because <laughs> it's just a simple tap and it selects it and then it actually gives you a detailed kind of description down here which is awesome um, I can then go into the tavern which is where I can um, hire more recruits as you see potential recruits and then if I go to the keep this is where my party reserves are and where my main four are but the main content is obviously in the battle now as you see that's how far I've progressed so far um, there's a few more but then I'm, I'm kind of a little um, a little reluctant to see what's going to happen after I finish all of these missions. I wonder if it's just going to kind of get really repetitive. Uh, that's why I'm hoping updates in the future will bring more content. So I can't judge at the moment. We'll see what happens. Um, I'll just go into the first battle here. And as you see, it's pretty cool. I press start and a knife or a sword stabs right through the um, level select. This is the battle arena here. Basically, you use your finger to guide to attack. You can tap on the character, as you see, and it will show me the two special moves that I have unlocked. Uh, this one's a healer, so I'll attach it to my knight and start healing. I'll show you a few special moves. So I'll attack this one, and I'll get my other people to attack here. And they don't attack unless you command them to. And uh, when an enemy dies, as you see, they'll just stop there. They won't progress attacking, which um, is a little weird, because if you're in a battlefield and you see your mate getting attacked, you probably would go help him out. You wouldn't just stand there and wait for another order. Um, as you see, I can do different moves, like I'll do this one, which is a fast attack. I can um, do the swirling one here. I can use my witch and use a few more attacks. And as you see, the graphics and uh, everything are quite smooth. As you see, all the transitions are very smooth. No lag at all. Never witnessed any lag. Uh, the graphics, like I said, quite quirky. They're not the greatest graphics, but they're um, they're quite aesthetically pleasing to the eye. 
uh, all the locations change as you get through like as you see I'm in the forest right now and then it goes to like graveyards and all different things which is quite cool I like the change up of scenery but the main thing that I really like is the special moves how it really engrosses you as you see and uh, I don't really know what genre of game you could class this as um, I guess maybe an RPG uh, as you like, as you saw before, you can upgrade your characters. You can get new weapons. You can attach new things to your characters. And as you see, that's victory right there. And it'll show me what I unlocked: soft leather garb. Show me your XP, and it'll upgrade you there. So that is the battle mechanics right there. And as you get further on, you get a lot more. Um, enemy types and it gets a lot more challenging believe me uh, so that is basically the game there, there's nothing really much else to it at the moment very addictive, I've been playing quite a lot of it as you can see and I only just got it today um, a lot of fun actually to just play around with if you like these genres of games or if you like the look of it you'll definitely enjoy it so um, $3.99 Australian is pretty cheap for what you're getting and um, hopefully with updates I'm hoping they add a lot more content because there's got a lot of potential this game so that is the game right there. That is Battleheart. Highly recommend that one. I'm going to give Battleheart a 9 out of 10 for the moment. The only reason it lose a point, loses a point is purely because the content isn't really there just yet. I'm hoping in the future a lot more content. But that's the game. It's a great game. I can't really flaw much about it. A lot of fun. So definitely check it out, guys. Make sure to subscribe, rate, and comment below. And have a great day.